Hey guys, welcome to the Weaster 18 channel. Papa Weave here. This is season four, episode number 16. This is going to close out 2023. We're going to have a little motivation today. We're going to have the, uh, the final for the art contest. So it's going to be a longer video. I hope you guys stick around and watch. It's going to be fun. I also want to do a shout out here. Our view count. Since 2018, since the Weavester started, Stephen started it in November 2018, actually October 2018, our view count, our views are 2,301,698. Wow, that, that is tremendous. So I thank all of you for watching and staying with us, staying with the Weavester channel because it'll never die. It'll never ever die. Guys, I started 2024. I started it sick. Last Wednesday, I started feeling kind of kind of yucky. Uh, I made that last video, and I got diagnosed a couple days ago with the flu. So I'm battling that. I do feel better. I do feel stronger, but I'm still fighting it, and I'll always fight it. I'll always fight these obstacles that we have in our life because there's always going to be obstacles. Whatever you do, you're going to fight through things. I want to talk. I want to talk about that a little bit today, guys. I'm going to flash back. 1982. Oh, man. 1982. I was 12 years old. Sixth grade, I think it was. A lot of you kids watching today, you're going to be, you're probably not even 12 years old. But I was. I think I was in like science or math class, I remember. And I was listening to the teacher and then my head kind of zoned off. And I was thinking to myself, I was saying, I'm 12 years old, I'm young, I'm a young guy, young kid. And fast forward, 19, 1992, 19, the year 2000. What the heck is that going to be? It's not even 1900s anymore, it's the 2000s. I said to myself, wow, let me do the math, 18 years, I'll be 30 years old, 30 years old, I'm, I'm going to be an old man, and then I started thinking 2010, 2000, and I, my mind just stopped, and I went back to what I was doing, listening to the teacher and trying to learn, but now, now I look at my life and I say, whoa, 2024. 42 years, 42 years after that thought of 1982. Man, what have I learned? Well, I'll tell you one thing, guys. I've seen a lot of good, and I've seen a lot of evil in this world. I dwell on the good, and I try to take away the evil. But one thing I had, I've learned over these years, all these years is you need to take care of yourself. You're number one. You're number one in your life. Who are you with every day? Besides maybe your co-workers, your friends, your family. You. It's you 24-7. You wake up in the morning. You go to the bathroom. What do you see? You see yourself in the mirror. You jump in a car, what do you see in the mirror? You see yourself. We need to work on ourselves in 2024. Don't worry. Don't stress the people that are doubting you in your life. Concentrate on your goals, your aspirations. Work on your addictions. Because let me tell you something else that I've learned through these years. I do not, and this is huge, I do not sweat small things anymore. Well, Papa Weeb, you ask me, well, what's a small, what's a small thing in your life? Small things are when you go out and you're in public. 
and maybe you're driving and there, there's people honking, there's people pushing you. That does not bother me anymore. I slide that off. If I'm, if I'm in the stores, people are pushing, people are shoving me. They're complaining. You can hear complaints. I don't worry about that. That is their problem to deal with. I don't sweat it. As I look at my son, all these years, five years have gone since he's passed. I look at his problems he had. And that gave me so much strength. Strength. To look back at my life and say, what am I complaining about? Why am I sweating? These little things. I'm not going to lie. In the past, when I was younger, I did. I, I sweated the small things. I worried about the small things. Never thought there would be a tomorrow to improve, to change. And now I know, I know there's a tomorrow. There's always a tomorrow. If things are looking horrible today, and you know, and you feel you can't get out, there's no escape. Know there's a tomorrow. Know you can change in your life. Strive for better things, but please, please work on yourself to get yourself stronger self-confidence you know I make these videos and sure yeah a lot a lot of times I'm corny people call me corny my wife calls me corny sometimes but I have these glasses and I I've worn them I've told you about them but I'm gonna tell you again I call them my trusty glasses Okay, they have the one handle, they're beat up, they're scratched, okay, but they work well. It's comical, yeah, sure, it's a joke, it's funny, well, why is he wearing stupid one-handle glasses? Because they symbolize, they show that nothing is perfect in life. Humans aren't perfect, we are perfect. You need to be proud of yourself, of what you are, who you are, to become stronger, self-confident. Don't judge yourself against other people. Don't try to look and be like other people that you'll never be. Be yourself, be happy with yourself, and do the best you can in your life. And once, once you do this, I've also learned that once you're proud of yourself, now it's time to give back, to help others become stronger, to help others live a better life. Give your heart in so many ways you can. So those, thing, those things in your life, take care of yourself, number one. Don't ever sweat the small stuff. Don't. And then give back. Give back in life to others. These three things are the things that you have to try to work on 2024 to become a stronger person. And I know you will. I know you will. And stay tuned with the Weeps 18 because I'll be here. I'll be here through the years. I'll never, ever, ever end the word of my son, Stephen. The Weaves are 18. All right, guys, great start. Let's go. Now we have, I'm going to have the drawing contest of 2023. I'm a little late because I told you that I was sick there. But what I'm going to start with here, I'm going to show all the finalists, first, second, and third, uh, over the months. We did, we did four, uh, I think it was, I don't know, uh, I think it was January, February, uh, March, April, May, June. There was like four contests, four or five contests. I'm going to do this quickly. This is just going to show the guys 
that took first, second, and third through, uh, through the months. J.P. Jaquez, season four, episode number seven. He took third place. It was the plain drawing, and he writes, and I love this, guys. If we're going to do the art contest, um, even if we don't do the art contest, through the months, you can always send emails with positive sayings, positive uh, readings, whatever. I will announce it on this channel, and I'll be proud to announce your, your, your sayings. It says, just because someone stumbles and loses their path doesn't mean they're lost forever. That is such a great saying. If you have a day and, and you feel like you don't know what you're doing, you're not lost in life. You'll never be lost in life. Like I say, tomorrow is another day. Just keep working hard in life. Keep, keep working hard. All right, that is JP. Season, uh, what was that? That was season four, episode number seven. All right, second place. I'm, I'm sorry, third place, third place, Billy Boy's mom. This is season four, episode 13, Billy Boy's mom. She did a uh, boat drawing. It was a, a Swedish warship. It sank, wow, about 1,400 yards into its journey, and it sank. Billy Boy's mom. I don't know if you guys can see that. That was another third place. And we had season four, episode four, V-Hand, third place. They did the car drawing. That was the topic, and they took third place for that. All right, we move on. We had episode number seven, season four. These are all season four. Episode number seven. It was second place by Billy Boy. He did the plane drawing. He took second place. Another one by Billy Boy. Season 4, episode 4, second place. Again, the car drawing. All right, another second place, Ink Pen, Season 4, Episode 13. This was the boat. All right. Now we move on to the first place. First place, Season 4, Episode 13, Billy Boy again. And I really love this one. This had... Potential to win the whole year. Like I said in my drawings, guys, in the future here, I love color. I love detail. I love to see the whole entire drawing. And then stuff around it. You can add whatever you want. That was an awesome, awesome drawing there. Ink Pen, we have season four, episode number seven, was the plain drawing. He took first for that. And we had season four, episode four, was the card drawing, Olive Thompson. That's a great drawing, too. All right, guys, there was tons of other drawings that I didn't show today, but those were the final finalists, first, second, and third, for each month throughout the year here. I think we did in two months. Uh, I think we did two months or three months, and then I announced the uh, the winners for second and third for those months. All right, here we go. This is what you guys have been waiting for all year, and I want to also say that first, second, and third finalists for the whole year will receive a great shirt. They'll receive the color and journal book of the Weavester, and that's some great stuff. So once I announce these winners... Please uh, get in contact with Papa Weave. 
I'll get your address and we can send those gifts out to you. So here we go. All right. Third place overall. This was season four, episode number 10. And it was a train. It was a train. The topic was a train. And it says, stay on track. And I'm proud to announce this, this person always subscribed, always is putting in his artwork, a great, great artist, Ink Pen. And Ink, you know I love your work. I just love to see this one you showed more. I love to see more of the actual drawing. I love to see some color in it. But you're a tremendous art artist. Third place, Ink Pen. Great detail. Look at the smoke coming out of it. That is our third place overall winner. Congrats. All right, here we go. Season four, episode number 10. Second place overall. Again, it's another train drawing. And his name or her name is SSS. That's what they have down. And I'll try to read this. It looks like the blah Niv. I I can't really see the name, but this is second place overall 2023 art contest. Now it's very similar to Inks, but they're the reason I gave this one second is just because of the more detail in this. Again, I'd like to see more color, but the detail got me. Excellent job. All right, here we go. Here we go. Now, if you know the Weavester 18 channel, you know Papa Weave. I mentioned earlier, I'm very corny. Always has been. Always have been. And that's something I'm never going to change. Okay? So here we go. First place. For the Art Contest 2023 Wooster 18 Champion. I'm very proud to say that this person has improved. They've gotten just better and better through each through each submission. The color, the detail, everything is there, the background, there's depth perception meaning that you can see the object gets smaller as it goes farther away. Just a great, great drawing. Season 4, Episode 10. He took first. Season 4, Episode 16. The finalist for the Weavester 18 2023 art contest is Billy Boy. Check that out. I just, I love this drawing. His Titanic drawing, I also love. That was in contention, but this one just got me. I love the older train, the newer train, just everything about it. If you look at it, you'll see what I mean. So congratulations, Billy Boy. You deserve it. You did some great artwork through this, through uh, 2023. And I also want to congratulate all you guys that participated. It has been a great year, uh, last year, and you all are winners to me. No matter what you submit, you're all winners because you tried. You tried your best. And that's all that counts in life. Give your best 110%. And remember, remember guys, care about yourself. If you give your best, that's all we could do. Stay positive, strong, and you'll be living your life. That's one thing I want to show here. One thing I want to show... From this guy here, Stephen Siddell, the Weavester 18, always said, always said, 
I don't know if you can see it. Start each day with a positive thought. That's all we can do. Keep positive, keep strong, and you'll be living your life. All right, everyone, listen, it's been a great year last year, 2023. I'm here back again, and I'm not going to leave. So stay tuned, stay subscribed, get others. Let's work on getting others. Let's get that 2,301,000. Let's get that to 3 million views. All right, everyone, have a great day. Have a great, great 2024, and I'll be back very soon to announce what we're going to do for the art contest of 2024. All right, I'm going to go get some rest. But have a great day. And I will always, always see you guys. And remember, peace out.